Let's start with um, from uh, Dr. Rachel Izaka, uh, gastroenterologist, who highlight two critical uh, critical facts: a fifty percent increase of colorectal cancer among those under fifty in the past thirty years. The prediction is by twenty thirty, it will be the leading cancer death of this age group. And so I want to just throw it to you guys. Um, what are your thoughts on on those uh, critical facts? I can start. Well, I, I'll, um, I'll, take a, I'll take a stab. Can I take a stab at that, or okay. do you want to go first, brother, yeah. brother yeah. Tyrone? Yeah. Go ahead. Go, yes. go for it, Doctor Comfort. I think you know it's one of the the glaring things in our in our community that we don't hear about. That it is unfortunate that the things that are putting our lives at risk and our younger generation is not broadcast everywhere to make us aware of what's of what's happening and what they're up against. And there's so many risk factors for, for cancer. And every time you turn on the TV or pick up a paper or if you browse the internet, you're not seeing the things that should really help us live and survive as human beings. And, you know, although, you know, we're talking about, you know, our community, it affects, you know, pretty much all communities, you know, so it, it is a it is a human problem, you know, that we're coming up against, you know, within the next coming years. And, you know, I do think that there are solutions that we could implement, you know, into our lives that can help decrease that rate, because an increase in 50% over the last couple of years is a reason for us to pause and say, well, what what can we do better and what are we doing wrong? And there's not enough that that we're hearing coming from the the government or enough, you know, I think even from our medical institutions to sort of maintain, you know, a healthy quality of life. And we we still don't know, even in medicine, and despite you know all of the academic centers that are that are looking into this, we, we can see these numbers going up, but we haven't been able to really identify you know, why, why that's happening. However, we do know that life today is very different than life decades ago. And you can only look at the two ways of living and start picking out the differences and analyze them and saying, well, should we go back to the way things were to a certain extent? Um, and we can, we can talk a little bit about some of those low hanging fruits, if you will, um, as to, you know, what we can target and think about, you know, changing in our everyday lives that we sacrifice for convenience. 